just doesn't feel right meeting him here. What choice did we have? He wouldn't see me at his office, and he's not returning my phone calls. Yeah, I know, but this is his wife. Who he killed in cold blood. Don't forget that. Gosh, I remember when Mitch's father was cremated. He went to Carolina and spread his ashes on the beach. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be buried next to Trudy. I can't wait. You're really missing Mitch lately. Mm -hmm. You know, he would know what to do with Julie. Uh huh. She started tutoring this older kid in, in Spanish, a senior, a big football star. Right. God, just yesterday she was crawling around in diapers, and today I'm worried about some 17-year-old quarterback named Clay. Right. What did you do? Oh, skinny fat, skinny fat, skinny. Believe me, this is the way they would have wanted it. Yeah, but Mr. Monk, God. No, what are you doing? The name tags are all mixed oh, up. Yeah, I know. No, I, think... I know that this one went over here. No, no, this no, is her. This one. All right, I got it. No, I got it. <gasps> That's not good. Oh my God. Okay, I've got it. Hurry, hurry, hurry. No. What are you? What are you doing? I'm separating them. What you can tell? I can tell, more or less. Don't sneeze. Oh my, God, oh my God, somebody's coming! Wait, what are you doing? It's not even. This one, those are people. Maybe they weren't the same size. Well, they are now. Mr. Monk? Hello. Hello again. What are you doing here? Are you family? Uh, no, we are, uh, we're, we're at the police. Mr. Sherman, I, I'm, I'm sorry about this. I've been trying to call you all day. Yes, yeah, so I've heard. You got a problem with me, Mr. Monk? No, 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 just a couple of questions, part of the investigation. Hey, what investigation? I spoke with the district attorney. He said the case was closed. What happened here? Uh, the wind? Just a draft. It's like a and tunnel. The table's a little wobbly. Yeah. I want to put a matchbook on it. But we cleaned it up. A draft. It's no problem. Yeah. yeah. You, you, uh, you, you told the police that you didn't know Dewey Jordan, the man you killed. You said you'd never met him. That's right. right. But you were in traffic court four weeks ago, August 14th, 8 a.m., the Vinton Street Courthouse. And this is Dewey's rap sheet. Uh, he was at a bail reduction hearing. Same courthouse, same day, 8 a.m. Is that where you met him? Mr. Sherman, is there a problem? No, no, there's, there's no problem, no problem at all. This is my <coughs> secretary, Allison Clark. Well, uh, you're right, Mr. Mike. It appears that uh, Mr. Jordan and I were in the same building. On the same day, just a few weeks before he was shot, and I don't believe in coincidence. Yeah, neither do I. Maybe that's where he saw me. Excuse me? Yeah, no, he saw me pull up in my BMW, you know, wearing this suit and this, you know, you know $5,000 Rolex watch, and that's where he decided to try and rob me. Now, that's possible, isn't it? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I couldn't hear you. Yes, it's possible. Oh, uh, we have to go. Is that her? Mostly her. It's jungle out there. Disorder and confusion everywhere. No one seems to care. Well, I do. Hey, who's in charge here? It's jungle out there.